That just happened. Right here on the center. These are the steps. I go on Google Translate and I write, I am a star. From there, I have this stencil. I take it, I take the Japanese writing, I write, I bring it into pages. You could also use any, like it doesn't have to have pages. It can be Microsoft Word as well. Paste it. I tried different fonts, but this one was my favorite one because it's nice and bold. And I did try different sizes just to determine how big I wanted to make it. Next, I print it out. Then I take my X-Acto knife, cut out the letters, like the little phrase, and there I have a stencil. Once I have the stencil, I take a marker, it could be a marker, a pencil, a pen, anything pretty much that helps you draw the, the letters. Just be care. I would be very careful as to what you use because you don't want it to bleed out or even damage your shirt like that's why it really matters a lot what kind of fabric you're it really matters a lot what kind of clothes you're doing this on if it's a very thin cotton it's just gonna rip through I would say go thrifting and find a really nice quality shirt that you want to embroider this to and then that would make it come out way much better and then the last step is to use embroidery thread embroidery thread you can find in Joann's is I use the brand DMC there's different embroidery threads but the one thread brand that I trust and love is DMC you can find it in Joann's or you could also shop for it online at Joann's if you have a local arts and crafts store near you I suggest 100,000 percent you know I threaded with three strands embroidery thread has six strands I divide it into three then I fold it in half and then I go through the outline Last step is just wear it. It was that easy. It was that easy.